One life has brought about a lot of little changes that when I step back, I can see the bigger impact. I'm Harry, I'm 20 years old, I'm at uni and I study business management. So one of the tools that I found most useful was around habits, what they are, how to break them, how to set them. And it was quite eye-opening when the fact came that 40 to 60% of what you do in life is subconscious and those are habits. And it's quite easy to think, what do habits have to do with my work in Jesus and leadership? But actually they are all interlinked. That helps now in uni, specifically with workload. I live quite a busy life with sports, uh, other societies, church, and just trying to lead a healthy life. Habits and understanding them has just helped me become more efficient. Previously, I thought that to be a good leader, you had to be perfect in uh, all the attributes of a leader and that that would make you the best leader. Whereas actually the session on understanding your weaknesses really opened that up for me. Only a couple of days ago, I was chatting with a friend and they were saying how being vulnerable and vulnerability isn't in any way a leadership skill or anything that a leader uh, should value having. I could just share with them how I completely disagreed and how vulnerability is necessary in leading well, in shaping your character and identity and how that can play out in business and leadership. Understanding your weaknesses is one of the best things you can do because then you can build your team around that and have people that where their biggest strength is, is your weakness and that actually creates the most powerful team. One Life has shown me how I can bring two worlds of me being a Christian and me being a leader in business together really well. And it has shown me how my walk with Jesus can impact uh, my leadership choices and then how in turn my leadership choices will impact inevitably my leadership choices in business and how I lead in business.